The idea of the ecology of equity has come from a lot of our work, but particularly we did a, a, a five-year study with a, a network of schools um, in, in Yorkshire, in fact, and uh, we saw how strengthening collaboration within a school and between schools can help to address the challenge of equity. In other words, make the schools fairer and more inclusive. But the more we analysed what had happened, the more we recognised that there were factors beyond the school which you somehow have to address, and they're very difficult and very challenging. Uh, and I'm thinking particularly in, in, in kind of economically poor areas. First and foremost, of course, is the need to link with families. I mean, however well we know the children, we don't know them as well as the families. So somehow that has, it has to be linked with families who feel they're part of the process of helping their children to learn. And then I think you, you can look beyond the families and say within the community, there are all sorts of possibilities churches and faith organisations, local business, sports, arts organisations, sometimes big ones, sometimes small local ones. And I think what, what, I've, what I've seen that if schools have really made progress around this equity agenda, that they're preoccupied with three sets of factors. What they do within their school, what they do with other schools, and what they do with the wider community. And so uh, what I'm suggesting is you need a coordinated strategy to address all three sets of factors. And that's what we've called the ecology of equity. It's looking at factors that can inhibit children's learning, which can also sometimes be factors that can facilitate children's learning.